What's up, people? I'm going to try to cover this as quickly as I can. So first, the symbolic message of this year's show. The age of Aquarius is upon us. The mass consciousness is that of love, which is disrupted by consumerism, greed, vanity, and self-absorption. And that, in turn, is disrupted by war, militia groups, special interest groups, the occult, and the Illuminati. The Illuminati and the consumer masses must accept the group consciousness of love, and they expect us to accept them as well. Lady Gaga sang the national anthem, which in turn was signed by Mary Matlin, the star of What the Bleep Do We Know? So I found that to be quite ironic. Uh, look into that movie and you'll realize it's talking about we don't know much. The Pepsi symbol was the first part of the official show, which looks like a yin-yang that's been disrupted by a white bar. The Korean flag uses a red and blue yin-yang. In Chinese philosophy, the yin and yang is a symbolic representation of the two forces in nature, of positive and negative in balance. Apparently, this stage was to be set in the center of the sun, with each side of the stadium representing a half of a sun, putting us directly in the center. As Chris Martin sang, look at the stars, how they shine for you, the crowd rushed in all wearing black. The stage itself was a video screen, and that was in the shape of the Flower of Life, which can also be seen on the band members' clothing and on the bass drum. The Flower of Life is ancient sacred geometry. The first known existence of this was in the Temple of Osiris in Egypt. The Flower of Life uh, can be seen in embryonic stages. There's uh, Da Vinci had it in his sketchbook. He knew about the Flower of Life and the Seed of Life. Um, it's been seen in many ancient cultures. Uh, it's been proven that as an embryo develops, its cell division matches that of the flower of life as well. There is evidence etched in stone that many ancient cultures had knowledge of the flower of life. Here is a 3D example in China in a statue. Also, the Kabbalah tree is derived from the flower of life, as well as Plato's platonic solids, all the major shapes. Um, this is a symbol down here from the Knights Templar and their ancient knowledge of Flower of Life. Now the stages Flower of Life has a red, white, and blue counterclockwise vortex, which is to dispel energy. Here's a short article on that fact. The counterclockwise spin is to dissipate energy. This is where Chris Morton said, whoever you are, wherever you are, we are in this together as he is representing love. Next is what seemed to be quite a staged event. As Chris Martin sang close to the crowd, someone with a gay pride flag wiped his brow with it. This is the gay pride flag. Those are the colors. Notice purple's on the bottom. Unlike the color chakra systems, where purple is at the top, so that makes that upside down. Back to the stage where the vortexes are spinning, some might say they form sixes, but from the center of that comes a sun that bursts out, and then later butterflies, which are a symbol for metamorphosis. This aerial view shows that the audience, the marching band, and the stage all form an eye. And there it is, I traced it so you can see it. I mean, it's pretty clear that's an eye shape. The stage itself looks like a cross with a predominant circle in the middle. And overlay a Celtic cross so you can see that. The center of a Celtic cross forms a sun cross, the symbol that is now used to represent Earth. Next, dancers came out with colorful sunflower umbrellas. The sunflower is universally a symbol of worship as it follows the sun as it moves. And here are some meanings. Faith, longevity, healing, nourishment, focus, good luck, magic, worship, flexibility, and spiritual knowing. Next, the sunflowers formed a five-pointed cross on the left and a ten-pointed cross on the right, which I believe resembles this Masonic relief. Although the ten-pointed star is double pentagrams. The five-pointed cross is known as the Star of Life, used for the medical industry, and it normally dons a serpent and staff. The serpent and staff 
was originally derived from ancient Egypt, Imhotep, known as a cephalus to ancient Greeks. Pause the video and look at some of these associated keywords. Next, the guitarist can be seen wearing a hat with a pyramid design. Pyramid's a famous Illuminati symbol, as everybody knows by this point, as it's on the dollar bill. Then that song seems as though it was cut short as they brought the funk and Bruno Mars and his crew began to sing. They started off in pyramid formation. And as his crew pointed to the sky, Bruno Mars touched his middle finger to his thumb on both hands. This is a Buddhic hand pose, uh, as seen in this Buddha statue, as seen in this Buddha statue, this Buddha statue, and also this carving. Um, Parents Patch says it's a number eight. I believe in this case it represents self-absorption. Next we can notice that Bruno and his crew have a pattern on their cuffs of their shirts. This pattern is a called a key pattern from ancient Greece. Uh, here's what it means. Uh, basically, it's related to the labyrinth, and uh, this is where a minotaur was banished, and a prince went to kill him, as they had been sacrificing seven men and women to the minotaur every year. That prince was to fly a white sail if he defeated the Minotaur and a black sail if he died um, to let his king father know that he was alive he would fly the white sail but he he defeated the Minotaur and forgot to fly the sail because of some complications and therefore the father saw the black sail upon his returning and killed himself so he, through his negligence, was guilty of his father's death. The Romans mimicked Greek mythology, and their god of war's name was Mars. Just thought it was worth mentioning. Next, Beyonce entered from the left of the stage to perform an edited version of her newly released song, Formation. With the more controversial lines being nearly inaudible or omitted completely. Beyonce and her dancers wore outfits and struck poses symbolic of the Black Panthers. You can see the bullets across the chest. You can see the power fists. You can see the at ease pose. Black Panther Party. It was in the late 60s, early 70s, and they were anti police party. And they had some radical beliefs. Don't believe me? Look at the Daily News. Look at the New York Post. Giuliani said it. They say she wanted to look like Michael Jackson. I think she wanted to look like Raquel Welch from Bandolero, which is also another movie about people fighting off the cops and police. <laughs> uh, the, the Black Panthers have a 10-point program, and this is it. You could pause the video and see, but it's, uh, it's not equality at all. Okay, ladies got in pyramid formation. Then it was time for Beyonce's alter ego, Sasha Fierce, to come out, and they did demonic dance moves with fire in the background. Beyonce sang, I twirl on my haters, albino alligators. A clear reference to the 1996 movie Albino Alligator, where they tell a story of alligators that sacrifice one alligator to save all their own skins. It's the white alligator. It's a movie about people in New Orleans that get in a standoff with the police. Imagine that. The last line of the song, which she didn't actually sing, is a direct quote from a documentary about Hurricane Katrina survivors. So there is a connection. Okay, ladies got in arrow formation. I don't know. Single point or it's going down maybe? Okay, ladies got in X formation. Clearly, an homage to Malcolm X has been pointed out. For 12 years, he was a political mouthpiece who promoted black supremacy and advocated the separation of black and white Americans. After the X formation, we cut to Bruno, and then we cut back to Beyonce. Her dancers were doing what appeared to be Egyptian belly dancer hand movements. 
Cut back to Bruno and his crew, and the floor is showing a hazard sign. Here's some hazard signs. Watch out, Bruno. Here comes a very dangerous woman. Next, Beyonce and Bruno Mars meet center stage and face off, and eventually invite Chris to come sing with them. Singing Uptown Funk You Up. They then exit the stage, and Chris plays the piano. And Chris Martin is wearing his branded Global Citizen shirt, which is directly related to Agenda 21. And a overhead shot shows that the stage is a video screen with past Super Bowl halftime performances, including a jetpack, a formation, Bruce Springsteen with the first words and says, and what I want to know is, is anyone alive out there? Then they showed some more past Super Bowl halftime show performers that are alive, and then some dead. James Brown, Whitney Houston, Clarence from the E Street Band, Michael Jackson. Rest in peace. Then they showed some more clips of the performers that are still alive, and then they cut back to the stage, where the trio sang we're gonna get it together right now we're gonna get it together somehow and the audience spells out believe in love and an overhead shot shows the formation around the stage is still an eye and the thing is about believe in love that is the lie they want you to believe that they believe they believe in agenda 21 Abolishment of private property, indoctrination of your children to be global citizens, and depopulation of the earth. The age of Aquarius is upon us, and we're going to have to coexist with all these different factions. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Click videos below and subscribe. Thank you, whatever33, out.